We're going to find out. Troutman on the pole. Pierce on the outside. They fire in the Rio Grande Waste Services starting zone. Your Wednesday night feature in the desert is underway here at FK Rod M's Lotto Speedway Park. Troutman down low. Pierce up top. Pierce with a big run off the cushion there. Briefly three wide for the lead. Here comes Sorensen. Here comes Bab. Bab will shoot up to the inside. He'll take second. He's behind Pierce. Lap number one at the line. It's Bobby Pierce, Landa Lincoln, and one and two with Troutman riding in third. Yeah, Troutman actually got a good run on the bottom side of the racetrack coming off turn number four. Gets his feet back under him. Meanwhile, Dustin Sorensen with a head full of steam on the outside of the back straightaway. That line gets taken away as Troutman's going to try to tiptoe around the top at the front of the field. You've got a battle for the lead and a new race leader, Shannon Babb, out front here in the desert for the first time in his career. Well, Shannon Babb leads lap number two. Pierce, the past few nights, has fallen back fourth or fifth early. He's probably happy just to fall back to second. He'll move down to the low side of the racetrack. Now he looks inside of Shannon Babb. Babb led lap number two, lap number three. Oh, maybe a little bit of contact there. Shannon Babb right about a car width off the bottom. Pierce to the inside. Pierce will take it back away from Bab. Here comes Alberson. Yeah, Garrett Alberson about to make it a three-car battle up front for the lead as those three drivers on the bottom of this racetrack right now as that top side getting itself worked out. Alberson looking strong, but Bobby Pierce and Shannon Babb looking like a, a summer nationals race at Lake and Speedway at the front of the field in this one. And Shannon Babb, a good run off the bottom of two to the inside of Pierce. Can't quite get there. Babb will shove the nose, and that allows Alberson to go to second. Garrett Alberson up to second. He started back in fifth. That bottom has been good all night, DJ. And it's going to be interesting as we're lap eight of this 30-lap affair. If that bottom ever gives up, and Larson over the cushion, and he's going to fall way back. He was one of the first drivers running the top. Now Marler will go to the top. Meanwhile, we've got eight laps down, 22 laps remaining, and they are slowly catching the back of the pack. The first car they'll get to, Kyle Beard, but no reason to force the issue right now. And DJ, I don't know that that bottom's going to give up here tonight. Yeah, you can see it on the screen. So on the suspension, something not looking right on that right rear tire, and uh, we'll see if we can get an update from down there. B.J. Robinson, the Mary's home furnishing hot pit. Nine laps down, and Bobby Pierce may be picking out, de pointing out debris over in turn number three. I believe we have the FK Rod Ends instant replay of Kyle Larson getting over the cushion down in one and two. Looks like his night is going to be over as he briefly stopped at that Mary's home furnishing hot pit. And you see Larson out of the party. Kyle, Kyle's out of the Mary's Home Furnishing hot, hot Pit. Broken right rear shock and a tire change on the left rear for B.J. Robinson. Thank you very much. We saw the FK Rod Ends instant replay, and you saw that car lay over on the right rear. And, uh, suspension issues on the number six. Nine down, 21 to go. Nine down, 21 to go. Bobby Pierce has led all but one. He gets a great restart. Babb's going to try to roll the middle. Alberson to the inside. That's a battle for second. Alberson will hold second. Babb slips up the racetrack. Just not more, much to grab there right now. Sorensen back to fourth. Luckman in fifth, and now on the top side of the racetrack, Drake Troutman trying to get it to come to life. He's got a few back there with him. Maybe if they can roll that top down just a little bit. I just don't know maybe if it's just a little too far around there and there's too much bite on the bottom. And the thing with uh, uh, the 58 of Garrett Albers is these last couple laps, he's actually not been able to close back in on your race leader, Bobby Pierce. Yeah, Pierce is right there with Kirby, and maybe we can give him a little love tap, get him up out of the groove. And right there, Pierce gets it inside of Kirby. If he can clear Kirby, you got to think that's game, set, match. Alberson hoping to get there. Oh, a little bit of contact. Hang on, Albers going to try to roll the middle. Can he find anything as Pierce is bottled up behind John Kirby? and just not enough oh. up there. And finally, Pierce gets into the back of Kirby. Kirby shoots down the racetrack. He'll be out of it. And we got just three laps to go. Yeah, Shannon Babb right there as well. And with just three laps remaining, you got to think that might have uh, sealed it for Bobby Pierce in the 32. Two laps to go this time by. Bobby Pierce not going to force the issue on the next car in front of him. It's the 25 of Mikey Kyle. Does Garrett Alberson have anything left in him? Will he try anything? A lap and a half to go. I think he's going to be happy with a second place finish. He's got to keep Bab behind him as they race back to the white flag. And final time around the speedway here in this main event, DJ, off into turns one and two, bring us home. Indeed, Bobby Pierce been your leader, uh, not since the drop of the green flag. He and Shannon Babb traded that top spot the first couple of laps. It's the Hoker trucking checkered flag that matters as Alberson drives it in deep into three and four. It won't be enough. Checkered flag is out. Bobby Pierce is your Wednesday night winner at FK Rod and Spotto Speedway Park.